What's going on, baseball fans? How are we doing? So this guy had a lot to say about some cheating going on in Major League Baseball over the last few years. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so Ryan Spader, a Major League Baseball analyst, had this tweet last night. I've had enough. I think I am coming out with everything tomorrow, going to sleep on it. Well, he came out with a lot of stuff today, and uh, holy cow, some of this stuff is, uh, is pretty interesting if you ask me. Let's just start from the top and work our way down. Everything that I'm about to say was verified by more than one player. I do not mean to burn anyone, and I love baseball. I've just had enough of this. First thing, he said, the Royals were the first team with a full analytics and video department close by their dugout, doing so in 2015, their World Series championship year. How they used it, I do not know. Next up, the Yankees had cameras in left, center, and right, all pointing at the pitcher's glove rather than the catcher to pick up his grip. And then he put the splits for Aaron Judge at home and on the road. As you can see, hit way better at home that year. Now, I'm not saying that is because of cheating. I mean, the Yankees were uh, accused of using cameras and whatnot, um, but... I mean, guys tend to hit better at home anyway, so not really sure how much this helped, but I don't know. It's pretty interesting to just think about, I guess. Uh, here we go. Next up, the Dodgers had an employee who was caught setting up cameras at Minute Maid Park wearing an MLB polo shirt when he should have been wearing a Dodgers polo during the 2017 World Series. Then he said, this one hurts to say, my favorite player ever, Chase Utley, was the biggest cheater of all time. Not really sure what he meant by that. Was there a follow-up to this? Um, nope, not really. So next up, he said, uh, as insane as this sounds, I've heard this from multiple players. Adrian Beltre had a buddy with binoculars in dead center who would wave a, uh, a undershirt, a wife beater, if he was getting something off speed in 2017. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty interesting right there. Can you imagine that? You just see a guy out and just far away out in the outfield with binoculars just waving around an undershirt. Uh, I mean, probably helped a little bit if that's true. Um, next up, he said everything Kratzy or Eric Kratz already said about the Rockies. Uh, he's saying that's true. So Eric Kratz accused the Rockies of doing sign stealing. So he's following up on that. The Astros sign stealing method all came from Beltran, New York, and Texas. That's that's a pretty interesting one. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting one if you ask me, uh, especially getting Texas involved here. Um, and obviously, you know, the Mets as well. Um, Next up, this one's an interesting one. The Diamondbacks used are used humidor ball, sorry, humidor balls when pitching and non-humidor balls when batting at home. I do not have a time frame on this, but I'm confident it happens. So if you're if if, if that one's true and you're switching up basically how the balls are just playing out there, I mean, and you're using it to your advantage, I mean, that's pretty pretty awful as well. Um, he had a lot to say here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I mean, just crazy. I mean, but to me, you know, I don't know. It's my general opinion on just cheating in Major League Baseball. When the Astros, when that happened with the whole sign stealing thing, I mean, my first reaction was, man, that is, that's awful. That's terrible. But then I also thought, you know what? There's got to be other teams that are doing this stuff too. Uh, if I mean, there's no way the Astros are just the only team doing stuff. Uh, there had to just be something else going on with other teams as well. We've always known of, you know, guys trying to steal signs and whatnot, especially on the bases. But um, in Major League Baseball, these teams are trying to get any upper hand they can, especially with so much of the analytics out there these days. Um you know, hey, teams, they're just trying to get any upper hand they can. Uh, these are very interesting tweets. Uh, I mean, these are, I, I mean, it's just a lot, it's, it's a lot right here to process. It's just all this stuff. Um, but let me know what you think down below in the comments. What do you think of all of his tweets right here? Uh, do you believe any of it? Do you think any of it could lead to anything? Do you think Major League Baseball will follow up on anything? I, I don't know. Major League Baseball, you never know what the heck they're doing. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. That's all I have for right now, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.